So um, that's right. Six years ago, we did ever the, the first ever TEDx kids at SMU here, and Reeves and I were invited to come and host. And I was so excited because I went to SMU. I grew up in Dallas. My parents are on the organizing committee. But I was so terrified to host for kids. I was, I, and so I said, you know what? And, and Reeves had experience with that. So I thought, OK, Reeves, you've got to host for the young people. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I'm too scared. Um, but I'll you know, do the adult day. And he was really trying to convince me. And he was like, no, you're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. And I was like, no, I, I don't know how to do it. And um, so here is a picture of Reeves on stage. This was on SMU's campus. And you can see he's having an amazing time with the kids. And like. 15 seconds in, I knew I had made a huge mistake not getting involved. I told him I'd be his trusty assistant, and so I then, you know, I would like bring prizes up on the stage or whatever, and um, was completely regretting not getting more involved. So on the break, I decided to meet as many kids as I possibly could. So I met this kid, um, whose name I believe is Alex. If anyone here knows him, let me know on the break. Um, but this, so this was six years ago, Alex, and I walked up to him and I said, hey, so how'd you, what'd you think? Who was your favorite speaker in the first session? And he said, well, Anusha, I'm sorry. And um, so I asked him, why? What'd you love about her talk? And he was like, she has been to space. And I really saw something amazing on his face. I knew really in that moment that he was really kind of changed by having heard her talk. He told me then he wanted to be an astronaut. And I, I just thought it was really so incredible. And it made me really think about the power that sharing knowledge and sharing ideas has on young people. As adults, it's great too. It's great for us to sit and listen to these incredible people doing incredible work. And many of us will walk out of here thinking about doing something a little bit different or having maybe a different lens on an idea. But with kids, the incredible thing is that hearing this can actually change the trajectory of their lives. And this is a quote that the TEDx SMU team, TEDx Kids at SMU team has received. Take a moment to read that. It could change their lives. I know TEDx kids at SMU changed mine. That's written from a kid who was there. So at TED, we also were really thinking about this too. And so we hadn't done anything for young people yet and um, got really inspired by this, this thought of connecting kids and knowledge because we had just done it with adults until this point. So the first thing that we did um, in the organization with kids was to start TED-Ed. And it's at ed.ted.com. And we pair up educators with animators to create lessons. And teachers and even anybody can create lessons using TED-Ed's special tool and flip them to their students or their kids to do at home. And so there's short little animations on topics like this and this and this, <laughs> the history of tattoos. And TED-Ed has since gone on, that launched in spring of 2012, TED-Ed has since gone on to start TED-Ed Clubs, which are after-school programs that have uh, 13 different suggested lessons that help young people with public speaking. And at the end of the 13 lesson program, they give a talk and record it with their own idea worth spreading. And that just launched really officially in January of this year, and there are already 12 of those TED-Ed clubs here in Dallas, um, which is a really exciting thing to see. And then finally, after getting all this stuff going on with, through TED-Ed, we got to do our own TED Youth event. And we have continued to learn so much from doing TEDx Kids at SMU, and the team at, at SMU, Heather and Christy, have gotten involved with TED Youth as well. So TED Youth is a once a year uh, event that we've held in both New York. We did it last year in New Orleans. We're moving back to New York this year. Um, it's going to be on November 15th, and there's going to be a live stream. So hopefully you all will share it with your kids, share it with your families. But the talks are, you know, TED Talks, and they're for all of us too. And we'll bring together 500 kids at the um, Brooklyn Museum of Art. And um, we try to do a lot like we did here yesterday. We bring a lot of kids up on stage and we have young people helping us to introduce speakers and really try to get as many people through as we possibly can. And happening, it's kind of the cornerstone event of what's also TEDx Youth Day. So while there are TEDx events for young people happening you know, all the time throughout the year, on this day, many people, about 100 
groups organize around the world to do TEDx events for kids. Some of them are organized by kids. Um, some of them have kids on the stage. All of them have young people in the audience. In fact, my daughter, who you met earlier, she is 11 and in the sixth grade, and it's going. To, she's about to organize, also in November, her uh, fourth TEDx event ever. She's been doing it since third grade, so we're really excited about that and proud of her. <laughs> um, but the thing is, too, that it, it kind of goes back to the impact that we make on these young people and, and that the sharing ideas makes on kids. And it's so fun to watch this grow as a movement and think about how the first time it happened was right here in Dallas. And so now I'm going to show you a quote by this kid, George Nunez, who attended the first TED Youth. This is just the beginning of me changing the world. I mean, right? He came up, he did, walked in that day, he didn't know that he was going to introduce a speaker. He did, and he really, it, it changed him in a way, and he, he got so excited, and if more kids just a few more even, can, can really learn to love learning that didn't already, or who, you know, watch a TED-Ed talk and start to ask more questions, bigger questions, or if kids can realize that they can change the world, then this is just, how can we not continue doing this? And we're so grateful to Dallas and TEDx kids at SMU for starting it off here. Thank you. <laughs>